Okay, this is a, a great problem, a classic GRE math problem. You have here a figure inscribed in a circle, and it looks sort of like a kite. Here's my little kite. I'm not used to drawing kites, but that's close enough. And there's point B, C, D, and A. Now, the reason I say it's a classic geometry or classic GRE quantitative comparison question is because the figure is not drawn to scale, and you have to be able to manipulate this figure in your head. What do I mean by that? Well, think in terms of extremes. This kite here could be a really skinny kite. It points D and B there, and then point A at the bottom right here. So now we have very, very skinny kite. It could definitely be a possible rendering of the diagram. Again, there's nothing, there's no information besides the fact that the diameter is equal to 12 or sorry, is equal to 10. Nothing more than that. Diameter circle is equal to 10. Otherwise, we can bend this quadrilateral any possible way we want as long as we you know, don't go outside of the circle. And so another way of doing this, if we make it very skinny, we can also make it as unskinny or as balanced as possible. And by that, I mean a square. So no longer do we have a kite, we have a square. And this isn't violating anything because it says area of quadrilateral A, B, C, D. And so a quadrilateral could, could be a square or it can be a skinny kite looking thing. Now what we have to do is figure out certain ranges here. If you look at column B, it says 40. So I can right away look at my skinny little kite here and I know if the diameter of the circle is 10, the skinny little kite thing is not going to be 40. It's going to be smaller than 40. So my goal then in finding the area of this quadrilateral, quadrilateral A, B, C, D, is to figure out what's the greatest possible rendering or drawing of this figure in terms of area. And the answer to that is the square. So we already know that it can be much less than 40, but my question is if it's if the kite or if the quadrilateral is a square, what is its area? Is it greater than 40? If not, the answer, of course, is B. If it is, the answer is D. So my question then is how do we find the area of quadrilateral ABCD if it is a square inscribed in the circle? And the answer to that is to take that information that the diameter right there is 10. If the diameter is 10, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the square out of here. As so you can see that this drawing has gotten very messy. I'm going to redraw my square right here. Oops, ugly looking square. And, uh oh, very looking ugly square. <laughs> but deal with me for a moment as I make the diameter here because the mathematical properties are what, what are important. And here you can see that I have a square, 90 degree angles, 90 degree angles, equal sides. And what we have here is a 45, 45, 90. We need these two sides are equal, therefore equal angles. Here's our right angle. So it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle and the longest side is 10. So to solve for the shorter sides, what we do is take this out here and the longest side of a 45, 45, 90 is always equal to x root two. Therefore, in this case, that longest side of the hypotenuse there is 10. So we solve for x. And doing that, and let's even move this guy over here. This problem's eating up a lot of space. We get x root 2 over 10. We divide both sides by root 2. There it cancels out. And we have 10 over root 2. Now, that's the length of this side and also the length of this side. So if we want to find the area of this entire square, we just multiply this side times this side and do the same thing. So we just take this here and we square it. And that gives us 10 squared on top, which is 100, and root 2 squared on the bottom, which is 2. And that gives us a total of 50. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So when we make it a square, this quadrilateral, it is actually greater than b. If we make it a skinny little kite thing, it is less than b. So we don't know. And so the answer, of course, is d.